Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now she's a nutrition and health coach, nutrition and health coach, and fibroids activist who's made it her mission to coach women on how to cure inflammatory diseases through holistic lifestyle changes with diet and stress management. Look at God. She joins us now to debunk myths about eating plant-based foods and more. Please welcome down to the circle, Coach Jesse. Thank you for having me. Coach Jesse, you sharp. I say Thank you. I had to. For Sister Circle? Come I mean on you now. Sharp. Your hair sharp, your outfit sharp, your I'm shoes next are to sharp. You. I'm just saying. Thank you. Okay, now what led you to become a nutrition and health coach? Um, well, first of all, I personally um, am one of the 90% of black women mm -hmm. who battled fibroids for 14 mm, years, okay, by age 50. Mm. And my personal battle, like, was literally, it was incorporating 10 years of infertility, mm. um, which were caused by those fibroids. I underwent um, 12 surgeries, mm. 10 of them were for fibroids. Um, five of them were for fibroids and five of them were for complications from those fibroids. Wow. And when it came to infertility, I underwent five in vitro fertilization cycles, um, as well as a devastating miscarriage oh to God. have my miracle baby. And even- And you still were able to praise even, God. That, well, wait yes, a minute, God. like even then, her, my miracle baby, she birthed me when mm. I birthed her. She's the one who birthed me into this work this ministry, this purpose of being an author, a health coach, mm -hmm. um, the founder of the Detox and the Hope Beyond Fire with Elimination programs. So I say that she birthed me into this work so I can help people uh -huh. heal. So you went, through this, you went through this so that you can be this. Yes, he turned my test into to your a test mode. Girl, well, are we going to shout in uh, here today? <laughs> Where is the collection plate? <laughs> Okay, so vegan and plant-based diets have become very popular over the years. You yes. see everybody and their mama want to be a vegan yes. and a vegetarian yes. child. What are some of the things um, about the vegan and plant-based plant -based lifestyle that mm -hmm. many people still don't understand? Well, I think the number one thing is, um, first of all, why are you doing it, mm -hmm. right? And it is a craze. Don't jump on the bandwagon, yes. right? And understand that the reason you want to do it is because of the health benefits. Yes. We say to people, it's time for you to become the expert of your own health. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if I, you know, poor health is a destination, mm -hmm. right? But I don't want to go there. Right. So if I don't want to go there, then there's some, you know, GPS will say reroute, mm -hmm. reroute that baby and mm -hmm. say, okay, where do I want to go? So I actually want to achieve real health. And the biggest thing that I see in terms of the myth is that there are a lot of things that are promoted as vegan yes. as plant-based and organic even mm -hmm. that are not healthy mm -hmm. there, are, there are these myths that are promoted as healthy options mm -hmm. but the truth is they're really trading animal-based toxins for plant-based toxins mm -hmm. and that's where we want to help people understand and you know what's interesting i i tend to see a lot of obese people mm -hmm. who claim that they're vegans and vegetarians mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is it that is happening with them Mm. that is not because I think a lot of times people I think a lot of people are, are trying to adapt these programs because yes. they think it's going to create weight loss but you why what is what is the deal with that why are we still seeing obesity with people who are vegans and vegetarians so I love that you asked that question mm -hmm. because when you look at what I call um, the myths right mm -hmm. one of the biggest thing is so if you turn around you'll see that there are plant-based meat, meat alternatives everywhere mm -hmm. right all the major companies Show are doing them is. right but guess what they are laden with toxins right mm. this is where you got to read your labels just because I said it has vegan on it or plant-based or organic doesn't mean it's healthy. So one of the key things we say is read your labels. Soy is a major ingredient yes. in a lot of these things. But guess what? Soy is a catabolic steroid that, that metabolizes mm -hmm. into a carcinogen mm -hmm. and it causes things like fibroids, endometriosis, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, right? Heart disease, obesity, because it's in, it causes inflammation, mm -hmm. like you just said, right? Let's get into these myths. Okay. Okay, so um, the impossible burger. Mm. Beyond meat, protein mm. substitutes. Mm. What's tea with these? So, here's the deal. There's no judgment when people are on their health journey, okay. right? But let's go back to reading your label, mm -hmm. right? When you look at something and you can't pronounce it, like methyl cellulose. Get rid of it. It's a chemical compound. Mm. Okay, when you look at that and say, wait a minute, what's that actually going to do to my body? Right. So just because, again, that's it's called plant-based. Right. Big. It tastes good too. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> 
<laughs> I we can't do nothing. We're going to die on everything. I'm, I'm sick of it. But you know what? The healthy food that's really healthy and, and drives your health, it tastes good because mm -hmm. it makes you feel good, too. Right. right? And then you, you think in your mind, I'm doing good, but right. you're really not. So instead, if I could recommend a, a shift, I call them the shifts, use jackfruit. Fresh I love jackfruit. jackfruit. It is a, so good. It is an in, immunity booster. Mm -hmm. It's great to lower blood pressure, great for your skin, mm -hmm. digestive um, system. Fantastic sub substitute. Jesse, talk to us about this alkaline water. Because people stay drinking Girl, alkaline they water thinking they're they turning up. Girl, and how much is it? Is, and it's hurting your pocket, ain't it? It's, it's, <laughs> it's for sure enough expensive. It's expensive. Now, okay, so that's a big myth. It's so one of my yes. favorite ones because mm -hmm. it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. All the ce celebrities are drinking it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The higher the alkalinity, the more damaging it is yes, to your gastrointestinal because it lowers the pH yes, level of your well, acid in your it. stomach. Next thing you know, your stomach cannot actually break down the food that you actually because it needs you can't to. Keep the so now you cause acid reflux. It causes for you not be able to break your food yes. down. And instead, you could just be drinking shift number two, distilled water. Okay. Flaxseed <laughs> flax and wheatgrass, give us them. Flaxseed, highly estrogenic, okay? So I, we talked good. about estrogen, you know, causes those issues. Yeah. So instead, use hemp seeds that hemp are seed. a fantastic source of um, essential mm -hmm. fatty acids, as well as iron, protein. Mm -hmm. People always say, where you get your protein from? Hemp seeds, uh, three tablespoons of pro um, hemp seeds, 10 grams of protein. Yes. All right, so that's a great substitute. Okay, and really quickly, what, what is the biggest tip that people can take with them this holiday to kind of stay plant-based, stay healthy, but still have a good time? Okay, number one is decide my health is worth it, okay? Yeah. Fun is cool, but generational health is more important than the moment, right? My God. And when you look at, um, when you look at making those decisions, mm -hmm. what you want to say is, all right, for me, I'm going to decide one thing at a time. I'm going to make a change. Download our free food list so you can hit all those things. All and right. on those good notes, thank you, Coach Jesse, so much for joining us today. And to keep up with her and get more guidance on detox living, please visit thedetoxnow.com.